O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the Rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they'd seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray and do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see our God. The secret of the Lord is theirs, their soul is Christ's abode. The Lord who left the heavens our life and peace to bring, to dwell in loneliness with us, our pattern and our King. He to the lowly soul does still himself impart, and for his dwelling and his throne does choose the pure in heart. Lord, we your presence seek. May ours this blessing be. Give us a pure and lowly heart a temple, Lord, for Thee.
Blessed are they who dwell in your house, O Lord. How lovely is your dwelling place, Lord God of hosts. My soul is longing and yearning, is yearning for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my soul ring out their joy to God the living God. The sparrow herself finds a home and the swallow a nest for her brood. She lays her young by your altars, Lord of hosts, my King and my God. They are happy who dwell in your house, forever singing your praise. They're happy whose strength is in you, in whose hearts are the roads to Zion. As they go through the bitter valley, they make it a place of springs. The autumn rain covers it with blessings. They walk with ever-growing strength. They will see the God of gods in Zion. O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give heed, O God of Jacob. Turn your eyes, O God, our shield. Look on the face of your anointed. One day within your courts, is better than a thousand elsewhere. The threshold of the house of God I prefer to the dwellings of the wicked. For the Lord God is a rampart, a shield. He will give us his favor and glory. The Lord will not refuse any good to those who walk without blame. Lord God of hosts, Happy the one who trusts in you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Bless your people, Lord. You have given us the law that we may walk from strength to strength, and raise our minds to you from this valley of tears. May we receive the gifts you have gained for us. Blessed are they who dwell in your house, O Lord. Come, let us climb the mountain of the Lord. In days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest mountain and raised above the hills. All nations shall stream toward it. Many people shall come and say, Come, let us climb the Lord's mountain to the house of the God of Jacob that he may instruct us in his ways, and we may walk in his paths. For from Zion shall go forth instruction, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations, and impose terms on many peoples. They shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. One nation shall not raise the sword against another, nor shall they train for war again. O house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us climb the mountain of the Lord.
Sing to the Lord and bless his name. Oh, sing a new song to the Lord. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Oh, sing to the Lord. Bless his name. Proclaim his help day by day. Tell among the nations his glory and his wonders among all the peoples. The Lord is great and worthy of praise, to be feared above all gods. The gods of the heathens are not. It was the Lord who made the heavens, his her majesty and state and power, and splendor in his holy place. Give the Lord you families of peoples, Give the Lord glory and power. Give the Lord the glory of his name. Bring an offering and enter his courts. Worship the Lord in his temple. O earth, tremble before him. Proclaim to the nations God is king. The world he made firm in its place. He will judge the peoples in fairness. Let the heavens rejoice and the earth be glad. Let the sea and all within it thunder praise. Let the land and all it bears rejoice. All the trees of the wood shout for joy. At the presence of the Lord, for he comes. He comes to rule the earth. With justice he will rule the world. He will judge the peoples with his truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you have renewed the face of the earth. Your church throughout the world sings you a new song, announcing your wonders to all. Through a virgin, you have brought forth a new birth in our world. Through your miracles, a new power. Through your suffering, a new patience. In your resurrection, a new hope. And in your ascension, new majesty. Sing to the Lord and bless his name. From 2 Corinthians. Praised be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, and the God of all consolation. He comforts us in all our afflictions, and thus enables us to comfort those who are in trouble with the same consolation we have received from Him. As we have shared much in the suffering of Christ, so through Christ, do we share abundantly in his consolation. Lord is my strength, and I shall sing his praise. The Lord is my Savior, and I shall sing his praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is my strength, and I shall sing his praise. Christ will be exalted in me whether I live or die. For me to live is Christ and to die is gain. 
Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, should be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Christ will be exalted in me whether I live or die. For to me to live is Christ and to die is gain. Our Savior's faithfulness is mirrored in the fidelity of his witnesses who shared their blood for the word of God. Let us praise him in remembrance of them. You redeemed us by your blood. Your martyrs freely embraced death in bearing witness to the faith. Give us the true freedom of the Spirit, O Lord. You redeemed us by your blood. Your martyrs profess their faith by shedding their blood. Give us a faith, O Lord, that is constant and pure. You redeemed us by your blood. Your martyrs followed in your footsteps by carrying the cross. Help us to endure courageously the misfortunes of life. You redeemed us by your blood. Your martyrs washed their garments in the blood of the Lamb. Help us to avoid the weaknesses of the flesh and worldly allurements. You redeemed us by your blood. Gathering our prayer and praises into one, let us offer the prayer Christ himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. O God, who filled the priest and martyr St. Maximilian Kolbe with a burning love for the Immaculate Virgin Mary, and with zeal for souls and love of neighbor, graciously grant through his intercession that striving for your glory by eagerly serving others, we may be conformed even until death to your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. <laughs>